Hello everyone, my name is Polish Lynx and welcome to Heartful Chance. Sorry if I sound a little sleepy, but during the last two days I finished three projects, which, well, wasn't a pleasure at all. But let's go with the game now. Nice music. Love is really unpredictable. And except for the projects, I also came to a conclusion because of watching the anime during that time. Well, but I think I will do the first vlog because of that. After that, probably. But first I have to learn for the exam as well. Okay, chances are your secret love doesn't love you the same way that you love him. But I don't, don't, I'm not into guys, I'm into girls, females, but there's also the chance that the one you are in love with also feels the same for you. But for all it's worth, love is a win-win game. Despite the many heartbreaks or the tears you shed in the beginning. At the end of the story, you will always find someone, hopefully, who will love you truly. And someone who will show you, far beyond your expectations, how wonderful love is. That's what I've learned a few days before Valentine's Day. Today, I wake up. Feeling quite uneasy. Something tells me that this is going to be a very lazy day. The cold weather makes me quite sleepy. Feeling like this makes me hate my lazy and unproductive self. <laughs> if every day is going to be like this, I start to wonder why am I existing for? Do I still matter in this humanity? I can't even be somebody at school. I did not even make it to the stu student council. Neither do I excel in class. I'm just an inactive member of the writer's club. Club. That's me right now, actually. I'm so sleepy. Is this what they call midlife crisis? No, I don't think so. Ah, midlife crisis. But I'm only 17. Well, I'm 21. <sighs> Once again, I'm walking in this boring corridor. Going to my classroom now, each step I take seems heavy. As if my shoes are made of lead. But honestly, I can't find any good reason to go to class. Especially that my day starts bad with our geometry lessons. I really hate that subject. Math problems are hard to solve, and memorizing tons of formula are even harder. And our geometry teacher is so cruel. I think she was a witch during her past life. <laughs> if I have a choice, I won't go to class right now. I will just sleep at home, because at home I can sleep with my eyes closed, but in the classroom I sleep with my eyes open. Wow, that's a cool classroom actually. As I enter our classroom, I notice that my classmates are unusually silent. Very strange indeed, especially that the teacher is not yet around. This only happens when we have homework and my classmates are busy copying ho homework but today we do not have any homework so I just sit and look outside until my friend approaches me Good morning Amy she looks like she has something important to tell hello Charlotte I greeted back with a sleepy voice. 
She's Charlotte, my best friend since grade school. She's kind, but sometimes she's a little too noisy. But her gabbiness made her popular at school. She even made it to the student, student council. You look tired, what happened? Nothing happened, I'm just too tired of sleeping. <laughs> You'll be tired of sleeping. Yeah. Oh, I see. What time did you sleep last night? Um, 8 p.m. I guess. Oh, I sleep around mad midnight and still feel energetic. Uh, I really envy people who can stay up late and still be energetic the next day. The problem with me is, even if I sleep early, I still have trouble waking up. Actually, me too. That's problematic. Let's face it, Amy, we are just sleepy persons. Sleepy heads all the time. And feeling slow the next day. Why did you sleep late? I had to finish our homework in geometry! How about you? I bet you finished it earlier, that's why you're able to sleep at 8 p.m. Did you finish it at 8 p.m.? We, we, we have homework! You looked so shocked, Amy. I have forgotten that we have homework for today! Now I know why everyone is quiet. Don't worry, our teacher is not yet around, so you have time to copy mine. Charlotte handed me her notebook. I can't believe she can be this helpful. Right now, she looks like an angel to me. <clears throat> hey, are you serious? I'm serious, you may copy my homework. My penmanship is ugly, so bear with it. Oh my, thank you. <laughs> Well, as I take her geometry notebook, I feel like my heart is overflowing with gratitude. I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. Who told you that you can copy it for free? You mean, so what should give you in return? Well, my condition is easy. I know that you are a member of a writer's club, right? Yeah, I'm an inactive member. And you've been writing love poems in our school newsletter since 8th grade, right? Yeah. I start to wonder what her condition will be. Can you write a love letter for me? W what? what? L l love letter? I want to give a love letter to my crush on Valentine's Day, but I am not good at writing one. If someone from the writer's club will write it for me, I'm sure my crush will fall for it. And he's going to think I'm a real sweet girl. <laughs> but, but you should write it yourself. Love letters should come from the heart of the sender. Not from the mind of her writer friend. Oh, I see. Then solutions to our geometry homework should come from one's own brain. And not from someone else's notebook, right? <laughs> what about? I will not allow you to copy my assignment and you will be punished by our terror chemistry teacher. <laughs> She is blackmailing me. She snatched the notebook from me. I think she's serious for not letting me copy for your assi her assignment. No! Don't take back your notebook. I need to copy it first. I promised I will write the most romantic love letter for you. Charlotte has her notebook at me. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Amy. 
Amy, Amy, it's Amy. I know you will agree. You're the best friend ever. Yeah, right. Best friend. I opened her notebook and copied her homework mercilessly. I'm in a desperate situation right now. But the good thing is, I am able to finish it before our teacher arrives. I can't believe I made it on time. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. But now, I have a problem. I need to write a love letter for Charlotte's crush. Hmm, what should I write? I haven't written a love letter yet. But I will try my best to write a love letter for her. I can do this, for the sake of my geometry homework. And her, who saved me from being disgraced by my terror. Evil witch geometry teacher. That afternoon, right after class, I am left alone in the classroom. Everyone has gone home, but I have decided to stay a little longer. Uh, the classroom is so quiet now. My noisy classmates have left, so I guess I can start writing now. I sit in the corner and take out my pen and a piece of cute stationery. I'm sure it's going to impress Charlotte's crush. Well, it's going not very good. I start a blank paper, forcing myself to write something romantic. But I am having a mental block now. What am I going to write? It should come from the bottom of my heart. Something that mirrors silent feelings towards somebody. If it is a love letter, it must be full of emotions. And every word must go to the heart of the recipient. This is the first time I'm writing a love letter. Hmm. Come to think about it, I've never done something like that. Whatever. And I wish that Charlotte will have a perfect copy. Eh, uh, not copy, perfect love story through this letter. After my short self-motivation moment, words suddenly start to flow. I am sure that I can finish writing before the day ends. This is exciting! Charlotte can even, even see, sign her name at the bottom of the letter. I rush out of the classroom after I am done writing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. No, that's not important. Okay, I'm good, I put the phone in the silent on this time. I rush out of the classroom after I'm done writing. It never occurred to me that Charlotte is going to wait for me outside of our classroom. Amy, where's the love letter that I asked you for write for me? Uh, to write for me? I'm waiting for it the whole day. Here it is. I hand her the love letter I wrote. She seems so excited. Just sign in your name and it's ready to go. Wow, thank you so much. I hope he will find this really sweet. I hope he does. Well, good luck. And thank you again for letting me copy your homework. Okay, Amy. I smile at her as I start to walk. I want to go home now. But Charlotte called me back. Amy! Hey. What? Why? Did, did I miss out something? Don't leave yet. I still have one last favor to ask. What's that? Will you give the letter to him? What? I thought my mission today is over. I can't give this to him. It's an embarrassing thing to do. You will not give this to him personally. You will just put this in his locker and that's it. If that is so, 
I think you can do it yourself. I have already written the letter for you. Now it's your responsibility to give it to him. Responsibility? You are the one who didn't do homework this morning. <laughs> now you are telling me about responsibility. Well, I think it's my responsibility to tell our geometry teacher that you just copied my homework. You know, no, please don't. So, will you give this letter, love letter to him? Uh, sure. Over disgust, I agreed. I don't want her to blackmail me again. Where is his locker? I take back the love letter back from her. What am I talking? I, I can't read now. I take back the love letter from her and helplessly agree to give the letter to her crush. He's a tennis club member. What has that got to do with his locker? You did know that the locker of the tennis club members are located inside the boys' private locker room? And I'm a shy little girl. And it would be awkward if somebody will see me sneaking in there. What? Okay, that might have been too loud a little bit. I can't enter the room. I'm a girl too. It's embarrassing. It's more embarrassing to be suspended from school just because you copied someone else's homework. Okay, I'm cornered. But don't worry. If you will do it now, no one will see you. The locker room is empty at this hour. Can you make sure that he gets this? Okay. I will do my best to give it to him. Oh, thank you! She shouldn't thank me because this is not voluntary. I am forced to do it. Where do I find his locker? Put that letter to Tetsuya Takashi's locker. His locker is on the third row, fifth locker from the entrance. Third row, fifth locker from the entrance. Should I remember this? I'm, I'm terrible at remembering things, so... Let's write it down. Third row. Fifth locker from entrance. Why am I writing in English? I have no idea. But it's kind of cool. We didn't have lockers in our schools. I find it really awesome. It's an easy... Uh, thing to give but I don't know it's something that is missing in Polish schools got it please Amy give it to him I really want him for Valentine's I heard you loud and clear and remember if you don't do it well I'm going to squeal you to our geometry teacher uh, yeah I will keep that in mind. Quite uneasy, yet I am able to reach the boys' soccer room. Do, 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 do.